Welcome back everyone, Kustin here on Serious Gaming, the new My Let's Play of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Letter of Mark. Let's start with that. I can bring three ships. There's only going to be one enemy warship to deal with in this one that I shall aim to capture and then to transport. So capturing this is going to be very, very useful. All right, let's get going. Yesterday afternoon, we arrived at our designated area and dropped sails and uh, drifted, waiting for our promised prize, a merchant vessel named Zephyr. When lookout spotted two heavily loaded merchantmen with a single escort, steering with low sails and close to a uh, short an attempt to hide, things became serious. This is definitely the ship we were expecting, but it is heavily guarded rather than unarmed. Our lookouts spy a large number of troops aboard our target and the escort vessel is well armed. All right, let's get going. Well, I know a way. It's called Grape Shot. I don't know if you call this a lot of enemy troops, to be honest. It's just 16 each. Anyway, sending the ships against them. Alright, so they have 110 people on that ship. Uh, I have, yeah. So it's basically on par. Yeah. It's on par with that. All right, for, uh, 39, 136 uh, crew killed, three, uh, and only a couple of captured. I mean, should have been more captured. I think they should change it so that if there's crew left on a ship, when they surrender, that crew should be captured. It makes perfect sense, right?
All right, we have other affairs to deal with. Uh, I shall take industry. British weapon supply, Spanish weapon supply. There's a lot of upgrades I need to get uh, uh, potentially here. I think the issue for the Americans is not going to be so much as the British have. The British have an issue in terms of just getting enough ships in their fleet, considering what they're dealing with. The Americans seem to have an issue of getting enough upgrades for their uh, for their troops. Anyway, that's all I'm going to get. So I have unlocked the six pounders. So in a way, the the American campaign is like is rated as more difficult. It's more complex, sure, in a sense, because you have to worry about getting the upgrades, the proper upgrades, all that kind of stuff. Harder? Mm, I wouldn't say so. Having to fight sixty-eight gun ships of the line is considerably harder in the British campaign than it than it's obviously going to be in the American campaign. I'm not saying that. You won't do that in the American campaign, but you probably will have a lot more time to customize your fleet to your liking. Now, that can blow up in your face for pretty obvious reasons, but I would prefer it having to deal with some of the things that I've dealt in the British campaign. But that's my perspective, I, and I just get angry at having to have the... AI scale things. Hey, you did very well in the campaign, so hey, let's throw a lot of fucking ships at, against you. All right. The wind was very light yesterday afternoon. The captain of the Minerva and I thought it uh, advisable to move ashore, offshore to find a better tack to move northeast as ordered. It was nearly dark when Minerva spotted British ships uh, closing fast. We would not see uh, the British as the sails of the larger merchantmen had obscured their approach. Action stations. We must protect the merchant uh, vessel and its vital cargo at all costs. Fortunately, she is an Indian man and can defend herself if need be. We must hold our own until night falls. Honestly? I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. So I have these three uh, ships against... Um, I have my free ships against these free uh, ships. Honestly, it's a joke, actually. Like, uh, yes, the big ship is a big is a problem and all that kind of stuff, but let's be serious here for a second. I have this baby, and this baby is going to be able to hold her own uh, in, in her own right. So I'm just going to switch to Grape Shot. Grape Shot, not Canister. It's actually different when you think about Canister Shot, and I don't think they would have invented Canister Shot by this particular point. Anyway. So the wind is sailing in that direction. I mean, if I'm being completely bl uh, blunt, outside of them potentially boarding it, I just don't see how the fuck they win this battle. E even against the merchantman on its own. I'm not joking. The merchant, you look at this ship, it's like, it's got a hundred crew, it's got cannons, it's got... How many cannons does it have? It doesn't tell me. Oh, 30 cannons, sorry. 30 can. It has 30 guns, which is more than any of these ships. So it's like, how are you in a win exactly? So just stop it there. Yeah, let's deal with this carefully. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to capture. Break the line.
as stated. Now it does seem to me that uh, the advantage and uh, the the advantage that the British have in their campaign against the enemy is that they have better trained. Oh no 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 no. I want the ship. <laughs> I like getting your ass back there. All right, enemy ships captured, merchantmen saved, mission accomplished. Bit more damage than I would have liked, but it doesn't matter. Victory is victory.
All right, nine pounder guns. And I'll want to keep this one as well. Okay. Well, we've made some progress over here. Now, let's see. Well, it's going to require quite a bit over there from me. Okay. Storm the Chelsea River. Okay, very well. So that's uh, that's going to be the next battle in 1775 December. Kostin Sanyat, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.